This is how you play bank, because why not? So if you're a new player or veteran, you might learn something new. If you didn't know, there are two hidden drone holes outside of bank. With the first cam looking into elevator, it has good lines of sight into lockers. But the only downside to this cam, it is easy to spot. So only use this one if you're in lower ranks. 3 out of 10. Speaking of easy to spot, this one is not. This cam is looking to server and the bottom of blue stairs. It is mainly for audio cues of where defenders are. 4 out of 10. With open area being so high traffic, you'd be sure to get a lot of information. It is also very easy to get into and a weird place for a drone to be. Defenders will be oblivious to you calling out where they are and a free kill for your teammate. <laughs> Lastly, the best of them all, the lobby cam. This is the hardest to get into of the bunch, but definitely the best. You first jump on the couch, then the TV, and next the pillar, and lastly, the light. You can see the entirety of lobby. 10 out of 10. Here's an example of me using in ranked. The defenders had beaten us on the top and bottom floor bombsite, so they were forced to go either open area or archives. They chose archives, so my cam would be very efficient in lobby. As an attacker, you have to spot weaknesses in a defender's defense. This wasn't that hard as the whole team was roaming. Casper, just sit on my lobby cam and I'll, uh, I told my friend to sit on the cam and to alert me if he saw anyone. And then this happened. Double kill. Yeah. Last two outside, last two outside. I won't cross, I've crossed. As you can see, intel is everything. Next up, how to attack bank. Obviously, there's no way to know what operators the defenders will pick in your game, but most likely they'll bring mirror. So picking Ash or Twitch could be the difference between winning and losing a round. Using that sneaky drone hole from before, you might be able to pop the canister at the start of the round, making the mirror pick useless. The best push for attacking downstairs is getting the hatches open and pushing server, so going open window will be the easiest way in. But defenders will roam around open area to waste time, so pushing top square door and lobby, you can easily pinch the defenders and get that free kill. Also, if you spawn jewelry front, you can instantly destroy three of the defenders cams. Another good way of getting in the building is Amaru. All you do is set a cam in lounge and get someone to stay on it. Here in this round the defenders were holding open area with Azami and Castle. They wasted a lot of our time due to us not having breaching charges. This round was not in our favour. We lost a fuser in garage and it was a 2v4. With the only thing left to do is drop the hatch and make the play. He's on the left side of that. Is that on that hallway? Right. Nice. Ah, good kill. Where's that thing? Oh. Merry, Merry! What's that garage? He's running far back garage. You gotta go. Another one? Behind the thing on your right. right. Oh, yes! Yeah. Alright! Now, for attacking the upstairs bomb site, you can do a lot more than its downstairs neighbour. A good strat for pushing upstairs is lobby. There are so many angles you can get looking into Trump, Banana and E3 elevator. There's also a cheeky angle looking to site rotate. A good operator to pick is Hibana for our long range hard breaching capabilities. Repel in the same place as you see me and use your gadget to open elevator wall. And now you can see the entirety of conference hallway, stopping anyone from getting in or out of sight. It's dropped, it's dropped E2, E2. In this round, you can see the true power of pushing lobby. I had seen a guy run into E2, but he didn't cross towards open. He's hiding the elevator, hiding the elevator. Right side elevator. Sets me their soul! Yep, yep, close, close, close. Nice, dad, push up. Johnny's up. One's Trump, one's Trump, Bailey. On the first window, on the first window. Downside, downside. Did you see four long Wait, I can hold from that side. Yeah, he's going to stone, he's going to He's going conference, in conference. This is going to be awesome. If you plant in CEO or lounge, get outside. It makes the round almost impossible to win if you're that muzzy. For the middle floor bomb site, go ram, sledge or buck and take above. You better stop! Moving on to defense. 
for a good defense, you can't give them too much of the map too early on. Because in Rainbow Six Siege, time is your best friend. So only giving attackers a minute to do what they need to do to win, it forces them to play more recklessly. And that Iona player saying, I'm gonna make the play, just get shot in the face by a mirror. In this round, we did just that, as the only place the attackers can go are garage and white stairs, as the hatches are caded and a mirror facing CCTV. With a minute left and some nice shooting, we easily won that round. So, what do I mean by time is your best friend, you ask? Well, starting in open air can be a great place to shoot drones. Now, your main objective is to not die. You don't even need to kill anyone as long as you stay alive and keep shooting drones. A good place to reposition is upstairs and pop the hatches open, forcing the attackers to waste even more time on you, as they can't get the hatches if you're playing up there. Going maestro or some with a bulletproof camera and putting one in garage is great, as the distance between the cam and the entrance is far, so they have to get close to deal with it. This round shows the previous tips in one. Pause. With great positioning and aim, I destroy the enemy team. Can't see him anymore. The attackers had taken control of upstairs. With our whole team stuck, we needed to retake above to take pressure off of sight. Is he inside? For downstairs is the basic sight setup you would roughly want to have. And now for upstairs. Hold on, hold on, wait, 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 wait. This shield is important. Trust me. Defending upstairs is relatively easy, while downstairs is the better site. Upstairs has potential. The main thing here is that you need to contest top square, because if they get the wall open and they're on site repel, you've likely lost the round. So putting head holes and placing a shield outside of stock is a great way of contesting it. Not allowing the attackers into stock forces them straight to the square door, where they'll most likely die. So they have to go lobby or downstairs, or they might do what the Zayana did. Wait, 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 wait. White injured, white injured. They're behind that, they're behind that. They have finger, they have finger. Oh my god, now four remaining. No, I'm all full. Thank you for watching. This is the first time I've done any tips and tricks, so let me know if you want to see more. Also, thank you so much for my most recent video. It gained 300 new subscribers, so all I can say is thank you.